start of the race. And we are underway for the first race of the season. The Mercedes is getting a great start. The Alpine in the middle of the grid getting an even better start. Three wide into the first corner. The Mercedes have all got through. The McLaren battling with the Alpha Tauri. There's a little bit of contact. All got back. through. The McLaren battling with the Alpha Tauri. There's a little bit of contact at the back of the grid between the Aston Martin, the McLaren, and the Alpine, the Williams behind. But everyone seems to have got through fairly cleanly, which is impressive for Jeddah. As we're still yeah, going around. Uh, both Thomas, they've dropped a couple of places. We can see a gain there from Luke Tenbinki. Wrinkle. No changes at the <laughs> Not top three. Uh huh. Yeah. But there was some definite. Well, there would have been a track limits for a couple. But I will say, Lavalainen is catching very, very quickly to the car of Will Casson. So this is going to be very, very close. Whoa! Anton Larson getting an exceptional Ooh. boost out of that corner. Quite honestly, they opportunity been... on Lapalainen, but they are going to go around into the first quarter. They're still very, very close. That's the top six. Ooh, and, oh, that's contact. A bit of a bump. That's, that has pushed the and car on. of Anton Larson off the line, and there will probably be some down through on Luke Ten Brinker. Making that move look relatively easy, but Whoa. not going to be. Oh, no! That's all. Oh, that's not nice. Sorry, I have to... Is Lenny Cook making yeah. some positions up at the moment there? Because yeah. he didn't get any qualifying done, but Lenny Cook making his way past the new German driver. Ended yeah. Up in a P9. And that's that. That wasn't me saying there was yeah, any intent. A little bit. Thomas Hardwick is catching up with the back end of his teammate, Peter Locker. And they do switch positions. That was really nice teamwork from the two of them. I was going to say, because I thought there's no tyre strategy difference between them. They're both in the mediums, so yeah, just mm. elected to go. Oh, Who's the in the pit lane. Might have had Whoa. damage, mate. I'd have to say that early. I mean, yeah, given the shunt on the rear right of the car, I think that was good stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, let's have a look. So it's very likely oh, to be having... No, change just changing tyres. Uh, what's happening there? Maybe yeah, getting ready to exchange some of that DRS between each other. ERS management, of course. Maximum Kloss at the moment getting past there. So that's the Ferrari past the junior Ferrari team. Currently running really good team. And that means that's probably caught him off guard a little bit, isn't it? Ooh. Peter Locks, uh, whoa, really oh, running slow up. there now. Potentially. Has he lost any M plates? No, look at that. No. And uh, hold him off. And we'll go further back to Jasper. Ooh, and Lenny close. Cook got past Jasper. There he is. I think we've... The thing with the Asprey, even if he takes positions back, he's got a three-second time penalty. But those early days, you wouldn't... Illegal blocking maneuver, isn't it? Like, just put your car in the wrong place. But go back to yeah, they could... Lenny Cook and Josh Bashford. And they are practically wheel-to-wheel -wheel down the main straight. It's going to be close, I think. Lenny Cook's just it's going to be happen. close, I think. Lenny Cook's just going to have the edge going into the corner, but the McLaren's still going to be alongside, and that was a little bit of contact. I'm not sure who that would have been on. That would have been very much a race against it, in my opinion. Potentially on Lenny Cook. That is a wishful thinking move. Oh. At least he's not waiting. Is he waiting? No. Um, but the, yeah, that, oh, he did. Through. He landed past. He's landing through, yeah. Really, in enough places. Just the small thing, like letting them back through, is the tiny bit of sportsmanship. Oh. There. Well, whoa, that's just a spin. That's Peter <laughs> going around exactly. I don't think that was yep. anything to do with any contact there. That was just Pete nope. getting a little bit too gritty in the lab pedal. You're right on the queue. <laughs> Lenny Cook will probably come in, as well as Maximilian potentially will go past. Then you have the McLaren behind of Joshua Bashford coming into the pit and no one else behind. You called it. So here we go. Did you notice that? I did not. This one's oh, crashed again. 10%. And his tyres are about... And in comes the first driver. There we go. Yeah. Mercedes peeling into the pit lane. That is Luke. It's Luke. So they are going to lose a couple of places, but I don't think... of course, on this fresh, fresh mediums. 1.3 seconds to change down the road. Will comes in. So does uh, E2. So... Yep, that was smart. And Luke will take the lead again. I should not uh, mess up You're the... Right. Uh, oh, he might lose a position here. Yeah, he might lose a position to Thomas Hardwick. Yeah, Thomas going past now. That's only just. It's and only just. Should be ahead of his teammate, Lenny. Here he comes out now. Yep. Uh, that is some team battling. They do not no, want to give up positions not. to each yeah, other. You're right. It's game on at Mercedes. Because it's zero on the scoreboard for everybody Love in the first race. It. Oh. Love seeing team battles. And uh, practice, of course, in racing conditions. It's something you can't really practice too much in time trials. 
as uh, Luke goes into the pit stops there and gets rid of those boots. Controls are not the best way to practice, hint to any driver out there. They're a great way to learn the track. Different. They're not always exactly here comes the same. Will on Luke. Teammate on teammate. Switcheroo again. Yep. They're going to keep doing it because it just gives each yeah. other the toe. Like, it's a really good strategy to keep your cars going. Flag. Last round. That's Yan, he's spun. I don't want to miss this battle, but here we go. Ca helicopter camera angle. E2, we're on the outside of Thomas. Textbook job done? I have to say so. No, I don't no. think it is. He's a bit of a tank slap on the wall, but he's okay. No Ooh, damage. Going on the inside. Oh, that is going to be close at the corner. A2 taking that position. So we've got two battles going on here, as well as Maximilian Kloss versus... I think we're going to see an overtake from Luke on Will, potentially, on the back straight. Yep, here we go. Luke on Will. The question is, what are everyone else going to do? We might see a move by Maximilian Kloss on Lenny Cook. There it is. That's still there, still in position. That is not going to be let go hard. That's not going to be let go easily. Chat They're going to be trying to break the slipstreaming. That's going to be close. Not quite close enough. Oh, exit Whoop. speed out of the corner is always difficult. Now they're still going to be close throughout the next First, few corners. Because um, yeah. Overcut is always stronger around this track. Yeah, that was the thing I said. They should have pitted second car first. Yeah. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, they're going to lose less, but they're going to use a few less positions, but they should get back to the one two later. Pass that car. This is going to be what a weave. That's <laughs> the brilliant move to break the toe. Completely and utterly failed because Maximilian was ready. And that might be a forced error. This is going to be a very, very close move. Sure. 80 might have to go back to continue to the uh, maximum cloth uh, making it. And there's a change between the leaders. Whoa, that's so close. They're def See, the thing is, they're battling, but they know they can't make it. Yeah, worry too much about that themselves. Let's go. Who wants it? Luke or Will? Up to you guys. Seven second gap to P3, so it should be okay. Unless you're both in the fence, then you might not be. Exactly. He's got to. Ooh, that is a brilliant move by Maximilian Kloss. Job done. Love to see it. Say. Waited for the final lap of the race, but now under a DRS attack. That will not be good. And here we go. There, they're eight. staying perfectly off the line. That's what you yeah. love to see. But there are more cars, of course, to come through. Now, why are they going slowly? That is Neil Shady. So you can keep his absolutely on that one. Yes, Will's going to make his way around the final corner. There, Luke's a little bit tucked up behind Caller, so on there, Scruffy for the final. That's, that is absolutely it. Will has to come across the line for the checkered flag first, first one win of the season. A2 Lapalainen is going to come across the line, and unfortunately, when Thomas Harbick does, they will drop down to fourth. Lenny Cook and Maximilian Kloss next. Maximilian Kloss very, very close, but I don't quite think it's enough unless there is a major yeah, he's mistake. He's way around into P1, the Battle of the Mercs, so, yeah, they don't want to Brilliant be the number one driver, but uh, at the moment, he is the number one driver with the most amount of points, as Will wins the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Not shame, but the walk of pride as Mercedes are back and they're back on the top step for the first race here of SwiftX Series 2, Round 1, sponsored by NordVPN, and it's all yours. Will Casson, the race victor.